If you were to ask general audiences to name a Transformers character, they might say Optimus Prime, Megatron, or Starscream. Nowadays, they probably answer Bumblebee, especially after gaining more prominence in the live-action films and even starring in his own solo Transformers movie. He also had a leadership role in 2015's Robots in Disguise. Let's rev up and roll out. <laughs> However, the first time Bumblebee was somewhat given a leadership role was when he was upgraded into Goldbug with an Autobot espionage unit known as the Throttlebots. But they haven't met the Throttlebots yet. I'd like to thank my patrons and my channel members for your continued support. Consider becoming one or purchase some merch on my spring store today. The original Autobot mini vehicles released from 1984 through 1986 in the Transformers toy line originated from Takara's Micro Change toy line. However, the mini vehicles of 1987 took a different gimmick based approach with the throttle bots. Taking cues from the pullback motors of the mini spies, the jump starters, and the battle chargers of years before, the Throttlebots had pullback motors that allowed them to roll in either robot mode or in vehicle mode. Unlike the Decepticon battle chargers, the Throttlebots did not auto transform, even though they featured the same style robot mode, I'll bet a lot smaller. While not the strongest of Autobots, the Throttlebots, as their name implies, were designed to be fast enough to get in and out of dangerous situations. As such, the Throttlebots were an espionage unit, usually sent on spy and courier missions. The first member of the team was the impatient and overeager Chase. Transforming into a Ferrari Testarossa, Chase likes to brag about his past exploits and future conquests since his excellent vision can help him see long distances. Laughing hard at his own jokes, Freeway specializes in insulting others as the Throttlebot's self-appointed comedian, though he hates it when others laugh at his expense. Transforming into a Chevy Corvette, this saboteur uses his car radio to intercept and decode enemy radio broadcasts, and he can use his wild sense of humor to transmit erroneous ones instead. Cruising the Earth in his Ford RS200 alt mode with a curiosity of a cat, Searchlight is a creature of the night. Though a quiet and serious loner, nothing escapes his notice as he uses his high-tech scanners and blinding headlights. The impulsive tracker, Rollbar, loves to take chances and speaks in macho cliches that unintentionally gets his team to laugh. But the queen runs to the top, oh yeah. In Jeep mode, Rollbar is extremely agile as he can flip and roll without losing speed. Despite getting dirty and transporting heavy materials in dump truck mode, the vain and superficial Wide Load is a neatness fanatic. Despite his ability to detect new sources of raw materials, he'd rather use his spare time working on his polish. Even by 1986, Bumblebee was still popular enough to be on toy shelves, and he was still present during season 3 of the cartoon. Like Hot Rod, Megatron, and eventually Optimus Prime, who received updates as Rodimus Prime, Galvatron, and Power Master Optimus Prime respectively, Bumblebee's first new toy came as one of the Throttlebots, still transforming into a Volkswagen Beetle. A preliminary name for Bumblebee in 1984 was in fact Goldbug, and this name was chosen for his new upgraded form in 1987. With the update came a new function as Goldbug was now the espionage director, being in command of the Throttlebots. With so many new characters to introduce into the franchise at the time, the Throttlebots were easily lost in the shuffle, despite having a cool function as a team, and their characters were voiced mostly by talent already seen in the show. Well, they were first introduced in the cartoon episode The Return of Optimus Prime Part 1 as part of Rodimus Prime's squad that rolled out to rescue the body of Optimus Prime. Unfortunately, it was a trap, and the Throttlebots were infected by a hate plague that made anyone infected by it want to hate and destroy everyone, 
as it began to spread across the galaxy. Among those infected were the Aerialbots, who merged into Superion. Cup, Blur, Wheelie, Steeljaw, and Bumblebee tried to stop him, but were blasted to scrap. After Optimus Prime was returned to life, he had the Quintesson that revived him also restore those injured by Superion. When Bumblebee awoke, he was now in a new and upgraded form. Back! I'm better than ever! Look at this new paint job! I've gone beyond being just plain old Bumblebee! I'm a gold bug! <laughs> that you are, Bumblebee. So from now on, that's exactly who you'll be. Goldbug. Goldbug then helped Optimus Prime in the quest to get a heat-resistant metal from the Decepticons so that a cure could be found within the Matrix of Leadership. Once Prime cured the plague, Goldbug remained at Autobot City on Earth with the rest of the Throttlebots until the Decepticons attacked months later in the three-part series finale, The Rebirth. Unfortunately, their efforts were futile, and the Decepticons stole the key to the Plasma Energy Chamber. Once that threat was over, and Cybertron was restored with energy, the Throttlebots were present to celebrate their victory. An animation error even used Bumblebee's original animation model alongside his upgrade. Unless maybe that was truly one of the Minibots, Hubcap or Bumper. Ignoring the events of the Rebirth, the Japanese continuity continued with their own series, The Headmasters. Since the focus of the show was centrally focused on the Headmasters themselves, the Throttlebots were rarely seen. Attacking the Decepticons as a team, they often ended up as cannon fodder for the Decepticon Headmasters. However, Goldbug did show some of his leadership skills, despite the team's notable losing streak. In the Marvel comics, Bumblebee fell victim to America's daring special mission force, G.I. Joe, when he was mistaken for a Decepticon in the comic book crossover, G.I. Joe Transformers. To rectify their mistake, Mainframe began rebuilding him with a little help from Ratchet. With this new and upgraded form, Bumblebee felt he needed a new name that would give him dignity and respect as Goldbug rejoined his fellow Autobots. However, this crossover was not initially printed in the United Kingdom's version of the comic until 1990, and would not even be worked into the UK Transformers timeline. As such, Bumblebee's fate was told differently, as the time-traveling bounty hunter Death's Head would blast Bumblebee to scrap. Finding his remains, Rekgar rebuilt Bumblebee as Goldbug as the two rode into battle to thwart the plans of a time-traveling Galvatron. Despite being outmatched, Goldbug's bravery was without question as he gave Ultra Magnus the pep talk needed to face Galvatron before the two were buried in a volcano, leaving Goldbug alone to return back to the Ark. Following Optimus Prime's demise, Grimlock was given command of the Earthbound Autobots. Though he was more concerned with fashioning a crown for himself, Grimlock sent Goldbug on a mission with Blaster to punish the human villain, the Mechanic, for stealing tools from the Autobots. Despite thwarting the Mechanic's carjacking plans with a little help from the police, Blaster and Goldbug decided to ditch Grimlock's tyrannical leadership, setting out on their own adventures. A run-in with the Decepticon Triple Changers left all of them infected with the monstrous parasites known as Scraplets. While Blaster was captured, Goldbug retreated, hoping to find help. Back on Cybertron, the other Throttlebots acted as a guerrilla unit as they stole fuel resources from the Decepticons. Captured by Ratbat, the Throttlebots were forcibly sent on a mission to Earth to destroy anyone infected by Scraplets. However, after a run-in with Goldbug, the Throttlebots soon learned from human ally Charlie Fong that water, a substance extremely rare on Cybertron, was the cure to the Scraplet menace. Teaming up to rescue Blaster, the Autobots successfully washed away the mechanical threat. Hoping to find a safe place to hide from the Decepticons as they ran low on fuel, Goldbug led the Throttlebots to a used car lot. Unfortunately, as the Protectobots battled to save them from the Combaticons, the car lot's owner turned them into the government agency known as RAT. Refusing to believe that the Autobots were any different than the Decepticons, the government ordered that the Throttlebots' bodies be destroyed. Fortunately, Agent Walter Barnett did not want to see innocent bots die. 
and he secretly inserted their brain modules into battery-operated toy cars to save them. Still in pursuit, Ratbat continued his hunt for the Throttlebots, who tried escaping when Goldbug led them to his old friend Buster Witwicky. Unfortunately, Ratbat disguised himself as a cassette and captured the human to get to the Autobots. Buster's brother Spike had merged with Fortress Maximus as a headmaster, who battled Shockwave to rescue his brother. Restoring Goldbug in a new body, Fortress Maximus sent the small Autobot to retrieve the mind of Optimus Prime from Ethan Zachary, who had stored it away on a floppy disk. To bring their leader back to life, Goldbug led Getaway, Joyride, and Slapdash to Nebulos. Once Optimus Prime was revived as a Power Master, he once again took command of the Autobots. However, an underbase powered Starscream ultimately destroyed Goldbug among many other Autobots. He also made short work of the Throttlebots, who had recently been revived by Optimus Prime. Without his squad, Goldbug was revived again by Ratchet, along with Grimlock and Jazz using Pretender technology. No longer a Throttlebot, and to Ratchet's preference, Goldbug was once again Bumblebee, to go along with his new Classics Pretender toy. With his return as Bumblebee, remnants of his former gold upgrade appeared in Generation 2 with a re-release of his G1 toy in gold plating, and later as part of the GoBots subline. Unfortunately, the Throttlebots were largely forgotten about as a team throughout the Transformers franchise. In the Dreamwave comics, Bumblebee was seen briefly leading a team of minibots to Earth to face off against the solar-powered seeker Sunstorm. With their profile book, More Than Meets the Eye, detailed profiles for the Throttlebots were written. However, with its mention of Goldbug being the future form of Bumblebee, the team never got to see any further spotlight because of Dreamwave's bankruptcy. Purposely taking a different approach in a similar fashion to Megatron with his upgraded form of Galvatron, the IDW comics decided to make Bumblebee and Goldbug completely separate characters in their universe. To keep vital Autobot lab work out of enemy hands, the Throttlebots were stationed at a satellite base because of their ability to evade enemies. Unfortunately, the base was attacked by Sixshot, whose swift ninja-like abilities slaughtered all in the lab, and the Throttlebots tried desperately to evade his assault. The Decepticon Sixchanger proved more than a match for them, as he killed both Freeway and Wideload. In the nick of time, the Throttlebots activated Metroplex, who crushed Sixshot under his mighty hand. Despite giving the remaining Throttlebots an escape shuttle, Metroplex left them for dead to keep something he considered more important safe. Unfortunately, their ship didn't make it that far, as the Throttlebots were stranded on a desolate world for 10 years. Telling stories of their past, the Throttlebots were attacked by monstrous Cybertronians that slaughtered Searchlight. Just as they were about to abandon all hope, Prowl led a rescue team to bring the remaining Throttlebots home. In the same year as IDW's introduction of their version of Goldbug, the theme for 2008's BotCon was Shattered Glass, a mirror universe where evil Autobots fight against the heroic Decepticons. Among the convention's exclusive figures was a retool of Cybertron Hotshot as the evil Autobot Goldbug. As told in the convention exclusive comic, Goldbug was the upgraded form of Bumblebee and served Optimus Prime as a brutal lieutenant, executing prisoners in the smelting pool and battling against the Decepticons. Despite IDW's choice to separate the character, Hasbro continued to release figures of Bumblebee in his upgraded form with the full intention of it being Goldbug. However, the name trademark was unavailable due to trademark reasons for many years, and the name Goldfire was settled upon for the retool of Bumblebee's Thrilling 30 figure. Because of this, the IDW comics were mandated by Hasbro to upgrade Bumblebee to sell his new toy. After his failure at leadership of Cybertron, Bumblebee was gravely injured by the Decepticons and almost succumbed to his wounds. Fixit used parts from one of his former Earth modes to upgrade Bumblebee with gold fire plating. As Shockwave unleashed his universe-ending plan during the events of Dark Cybertron, this Goldfire Bumblebee took a proactive yet noble role in leadership as the Autobots and Decepticons joined forces to stop Shockwave. Attempting to get Megatron to see things his way, Bumblebee convinced Megatron not to kill Galvatron. Unfortunately, Shockwave killed Bumblebee, 
leading Megatron to pull a Russo swerve by becoming an Autobot. After Megatron and Optimus Prime put an end to Shockwave's plans, Bumblebee somehow haunted Starscream for years as a ghost before being revived in time to help stop the threat of Unicron. Bumblebee's future self was also mentioned in Transformers Devastation. Your moniker is Wimpy Many, the world's bridge, gold bottle, race velvet, at long range, gold fly. Well, that makes me feel special. DLC for the game also made this upgrade a playable character costume. Bumblebee's rise and popularity over the years once again granted him a leadership role in Transformers Prime's sequel series, Robots in Disguise, in 2015. Although the team was not the Throttlebots like he had once led before, nor did Bumblebee become Goldbug, this new squad on Earth hunted Decepticons from the prison ship Alchemore. The team even became a combiner eventually liberating Cybertron from a group of Decepticons who had brainwashed the populace. Unfortunately for the other Throttlebots, they haven't seen much action as a team. However, their names have been used individually on other characters over the years, probably to keep up the name trademark. The first of the two most famous examples was Rollbar in 2001's Robots in Disguise. Voiced by Michael Lindsay. Can the act with you guys? The Autobots can't hear us down here. Rollbar was a reserved but dedicated Decepticon commando who could combine with his team to form Ruination. A G1 version of Rollbar was also released in 2006 as a redeco of Hound in the Transformers Alternators toy line, transforming into a licensed Jeep Wrangler. The second and most notable Throttlebot to be used in new media was certainly Chase in Transformers Rescue Bots. Transforming into a blue police car, and voiced by DC Douglas. Chase was always serious about law enforcement and following the rules as he helped the Burns family with rescue missions. Next time, citizen, please follow the rules of the road. It's not just a good idea, it's the law. A new version of the G1 character was also released in 2017's Titan's Return as a retool of Bumblebee. To differentiate him from the Rescue Bot's character, Chase was renamed Road Burn. However, despite the numerous figures of Bumblebee released over the years, fans still wanted to see his upgraded form of Goldbug. With his name trademark secure once more, and as part of Hasbro Pulse's exclusive Shattered Glass toy line in 2021, a retool of Earthrise Cliffjumper with a new head was released as Autobot Goldbug. Appearing in IDW's new Shattered Glass comic, Bumblebee was fatally wounded by Megatron when the Autobots led by Optimus Prime sought to take over Cybertron. Rebuilt as Goldbug, this evil Autobot quickly rose to be one of the warlords in control of their home world. As the Decepticons lay siege to his city, Goldbug was prepared to execute Starscream before being betrayed by Jetfire. Despite Jetfire's best efforts, Goldbug murdered the heroic Decepticon before escaping underground. Jetfire then proceeded to slaughter the Shattered Glass version of the Throttlebots in pursuit of Goldbug. Taking the head of Shattered Glass Goldbug and the vehicle mode of the officially licensed Volkswagen Beetle of Netflix Bumblebee, a new version of Goldbug was released as part of the Transformers Legacy Creatures Collide 4-pack in 2022. This Target exclusive came packaged with the Insecticon Ransack, a toy-accurate version of Beast Wars Scorponok, and the Skywarp colored Waspinator redeco of Skywasp. With this release of Goldbug, it has to make one wonder if his original espionage team, the Throttlebots, will ever make a return together once more. With Transformers Legacy looking to celebrate much of the franchise's history over the years, it certainly would be a welcome addition. Hopefully next time, it won't be as Decepticon cannon fodder. But what do you think? Should the Throttlebots return as the espionage team that they were originally intended to be? And should they be led by an upgraded Bumblebee once again? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. I have many more Transformers videos like this coming soon, so stay tuned. And as always, until next time, till all are one. Don't be absurd! I was ready to help, but I knew you didn't need me. Why, I oughta... Forget it, Cup. It's the mission that's important now.